And I feel that over my lifetime, um, during the occupation, I was 13 in 1967, we have only been hostages of American internal politics or Israeli internal politics, waiting for the elections either here or there. I mean, the Palestinian um, leadership and the Palestinian people have been engaged into this process of uh, the peace process or the negotiation process for the past uh, uh, 20 years now. And uh, we ended up um, recently still discussing what are we discussing. Are we discussing really uh, the end of the uh, Israeli occupation? Are we discussing uh, a two-state solution based on the uh, 67 line? Or we are discussing something totally uh, different? Um, with this current uh, Israeli government, uh, it's the latter. Uh, basically, uh, Obama is not the only president who made a promise that he couldn't fulfill. They've heard so many confusing messages, so many promises, and nothing came out of it. And now we need to change the game. I mean, enough is enough. We, we don't believe in anybody. Uh, we know that the, 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 the existing paradigm will not be able to take us further, neither on negotiations, neither in the situation on the ground, meaning uh, the, the difficulties of daily life. So we need to move ahead and, and change the game whereby international law is respected, is functioned into the, the paradigm or, or so the, the peace process, a renewed peace process. Uh, and, and that's why you see a certain kind of, uh, you know, people are adamant. They want to see this change. Uh, people are for going to the UN. You know, the polls say two thirds are for really going to the UN. The president's popularity has increased because they see that finally that, that game has sort of to speak, have been used. It reached the end of the line. We need to get to some change and, and move ahead. I mean, some make the point you could get 192 of the 193 UN member states to support you, but if number 193 that's holding out is Israel, then the occupation is still going to be in place. I mean, I'm really worried that maybe my daughters, I have two daughters, would they still keep hearing two states and on the ground will be something else? So I think... The new generation of the Middle East are saying, now is the time.